So since we've gone into lockdown, I have purchased a couple of bits of gym equipment and I've decided to vlog my training. So whilst everyone was out panic buying toilet rolls and pasta, I was out panic buying squat stands, bumpers and picking up the rest of the kit that I've got at Pioneer. So I thought I would share a bit of an insight into my training right now, partly because uh, I've got a lot of free time, um, partly because it's a bit of self-indulgence and partly because hopefully I can give you some uh, education on why I'm doing the things that I'm doing from uh, my coach, some useful tips that you might be able to pick up and purely to see what kind of um, funny things happen to me outdoors like getting attacked by a bee mid-set or nearly darwining myself and resting plates on the outside of my racks so that when I pick the bar up the racks slid in. Um, so I'm going to overlay this on the training footage and um, comment on what's going on and we'll see how it goes. So just to let you know as well, the camera is pointing this way at me, but the screen is pointing this way at me. So that is where I'm going to be looking to make sure I'm actually talking about relevant stuff and not just waffling to the camera while the video runs over. Um, so first thing I had this week was eccentric focus day. Um, the way that we have this split up at the moment is first day main lifts are eccentrics, second day main lifts are pauses, third day main lifts are um, standard, but they descend in a pyramid to the heaviest, and then there's sometimes a back offset at the end. Um, this coming week there isn't, but the week just gone there was sets of 15. Horrible. Um, but this was the first day I had seven second eccentrics this week, so they've been increasing by two seconds every week. So I had sevens this week. And uh, you'll notice my footwear changes a little bit through the video. I've been experimenting with the best flats for back squats. Turns out it's Reebok Nanos, or whatever the Reeboks I've got that cost me 30 quid. Um, so these. Yeah, done in flats, which I've changed to a couple of months ago. I was using lifters, but I was always getting tipped forward. And actually, I'm a very hip-dominant squatter, as you'll see here. I don't get a lot of knee travel. Much more hips. Um, and these are actually really, really horrible. And I did an extra one uh, because I forgot to count properly. So that was first exercise, first day. Lost it a little bit there, but that's kind of expected when you do an extra rep. And it's hard enough at six anyway. So next thing was floor press. I've always been pretty good at floor press um, in terms of like which exercises I tend, I've tended to excel at. I think probably because I had a bench press in my room when I was a kid and that's all I did. Uh, bench press has always been fairly good for me. Um, so floor press was pretty good. It has been pretty good the last couple of weeks. Fairly comfortable and it's progressing nicely. And it's simply because I don't have a bench available at the moment. I've got one on delivery, so that should be getting ordered. Uh, sorry, that should be getting delivered soon. So it'd be nice to get back on a bench for that one in a couple of weeks' time. It's working fine for now. And the next one was a pretty interesting way of setting up pull-ups because I've never had to do them basically in an L-sit uh, without my feet sticking out in front of me. Um, my abs, the first time I did these, were absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely wrecked. Again, eccentrics on these, so you can see all the lifts on day one are all eccentric focused. Um, essentially, this is a way with the limited weight I had available and limited kit. I know I've got a fair bit, but it's still limited in terms of what my training program was before lockdown. Um, we're using these to intensify the session, so it's a it's a novel stimulus because I haven't been doing eccentrics for a while. So it's actually quite nice to have to experiment a little bit with limited weight um, press ups I have a feeling that Jack uh, my coach is trying to make us all into absolute press up machines by the end of this so this was I think my last set Yeah, that was my last couple of reps of a max out set um, and I just finished off with bicep curls save again eccentric on the way down 7 seconds on these and I've shortened the clip here because no one needs to see me do 7 second eccentrics on bicep curls 
from here on I've just included some of the main lifts because essentially all my accessory stuff is fairly similar. There's a couple of rows and stuff that I missed out but um, these were particularly enjoyable the other day and I still had limited weight on this so I had two 20 kilo plates and two 10 kilo plates no clips so I had to use wrist wraps and second half of the week I actually got some new bumpers from Primal delivered and they didn't have the fives so I've been sent some five kilo uh, discs and some 1.25s as well which has been really handy so this is going on to session two now this is the pause and if you see there's a plant pot my phone's propped up against it because I did such a bad job of counting the pause last time uh, that I needed to do it properly with a phone with a timer on it in front of me and I think on rep 5 a bee flew into my face on this set so it was 15 second pause halfway then into 6 to 8 reps uh, this is the hardest thing I have to do all week uh, because I suck at front squats so that's quite a nice segue into something that everyone can get from training right now is focus on all your weak points and not just the things that you were good at because we probably don't have access to everything that we used to I know I certainly don't even though I've got a lot more kit than most there's a lot of stuff that I can't do so I'm just focusing on what I can do and Jack is helping me to work on a lot of weaknesses this being one of them uh, so they were horrible and they have been every week so far and I've got to do a nine second eccentric on that I thought I'd leave this in because everyone loves my dog and he's the best so he's started uh, being my assistant coach which Jack is very grateful for and he's been fairly good actually with training all things considering he was a pretty excitable puppy and now he's actually pretty chill when I'm training outside he barked at me a few times the first time uh, I was doing any training but now he just sort of like potters around and like sniffs things and tries to eat mud like he was doing there but he's been fairly good so far and he just likes chilling out in the garden so it's a pretty perfect setup for me so these were on the uh, isometric day, so the pause day. 15 second pause at the start and then rep out as many as you can. And the goal for this has just been to increase reps over the week. So same with all the um, all the other press-up variations I've got is getting your eccentric or your pause and max reps. And we're just looking to increase volume with those. So the focus was about to change into a comp block because I was due to compete at a comp in May. Obviously that didn't happen and we all got refunded for it so now it's back into volume which I'm not too displeased about to be honest. Here's my dog again because he's great. He's just a big teddy bear and loves showing off as well so I thought I'd get him on camera for everyone. He's good for morale. Uh, these were last big day because my fourth day is essentially just an accessory day right now. So we've got three big, big days which are full body so I'm doing three squats in the week no deadlifts right now partly due to environment and I don't want to crack those flagstones so it's actually on a little bit of a tilt and I've actually moved it which you'll see in the split squat video that's coming up uh, but this was 130 for top set of six after doing set of 12 at 100 10 at 110 8 at 120 6 at 130 then back to 105 which I haven't included because it's a long video. But if you would look at my Instagram, um, you'll see that I nearly Darwin Award myself on that one. It's a very disapproving shake of the head from Emily. But these felt really good. Um, in the Reebok there for flat shoes, and they've been the best so far by far. And they only cost me 30 quid. And there's a, there was a good thing that uh, Ed Cohen said uh, years and years and years ago. That, is it Ed Cohen or Louis Simmons? One of the two. Some lifting great basically said you don't want a pair of hundred dollar shoes and a one dollar squat and i think that's essentially what i had a while ago my squat was very very poor and i had very expensive lifting shoes and turns out just working on your technique and swapping to a decent pair of flats before you actually go into lifters uh, is probably you know worthwhile uh, exploration there were some rdls at 140 they were pretty comfortable but uh, i need to get some straps on those soon because grip is going because my hands are very sweaty and i don't have any chalk these, uh, I've never liked split squats, but they're a great exercise and it's a really good mass builder right now, um, making sure everything's ironed out left to right. So I only have filmed one side of this because my camera is starting to run out of battery, but you can see my girlfriend cycling in the back there. We actually trained together, which was nice. I've never done that before and uh, 
yeah, it's been a nice silver lining to come out of all this lockdown business is that we get to train together with uh, with all the kit that we've got. So this was sets of 10. There's deputy coach again stepping in to make sure I'm not missing any reps. So it sets of 10 at 90. Uh, it was really hard, but feels pretty decent so far. And then last bit I'm going to leave you with is an exercise that a lot of people might think is a little bit funny. But um, it's one of my favourites actually in the week. It's a Zercher March. Um, I can't do a step up because if you look at the the thing behind me there, the um, decking, it's actually rotten away on one side. So we've got to replace some of the beams underneath. So I can't do any step up. So I'm just doing a march and it's 45 seconds. So I have to set a timer in the background and just assume that I'm doing 45, even though I have to set a 60 second timer. Um, but they're fantastic. Really good for your core. Really good for conditioning. Um, and that kind of wraps up week number one, really. Uh, it's been a good week so far and everything's going to start progressing again next week. So, uh, yeah, there we go. So that's the first vlog of lockdown wrapped up. This is going to be the way that I think I'm progressing my training for now. Uh, obviously, that's down to Jack. But the the theme I'm getting is that everything just increases over the weeks in terms of the eccentrics and in terms of the pauses and obviously we're trying to push volume up a little bit with the max out sets too so yeah it's, it's been a really enjoyable training block so far and i'd gone from what was an upper lower with a lot of focus on doing things like heavy leg pressing safety bar um, using some of the cable machines and obviously that all gets taken away when the gym's closed so we have to adapt which is fine and I'm really enjoying training at home at the moment actually for two reasons. One that it gives me something that distracts me from everything that's going on which I think is important for mental health. For me certainly anyway for someone who tends to get wrapped up in news and figures and that sort of stuff this has been a real nice break for me in the day. Um, but also because it means that I've got something very tangible to to focus on right now as well. I don't feel like I'm spinning my wheels. Even when I had uh, no racks and no bumpers, I still had a couple of kettlebells and a barbell and we were still doing this sort of stuff just with less weight. So I've been extremely grateful for my coach, uh, Jack, and uh, my nutrition coach, Alex, for keeping me on track, which has been really good through this period. Um, and none of us intend it to start going any differently, really. So the only thing I've got to do now is stay on top of mobility because I'm a bit beat up from going from squatting twice a week to three times a week so it's just a case of staying on top of that on my days off so that's what I'm going to be doing today um, and I'm going to wrap it up there because I've waffled a little bit and I want to keep these fairly succinct if I can but I'm going to be doing them once a week and we'll just see how the format goes I might start changing it around a little bit and if it's something you enjoy, please let me know. Please share it. Um, yeah, there you go. And I will leave it there.